Hello students, today you're going to practice uh, solving density practice problems by using this video and then answering the questions below this video. So let's get started. So the formula for finding density, the formula for finding density is density is the same as mass divided by volume. Let's review what that means before we move on too far. So what I'm saying is that, let's say these three cubes, they have the same volume. That means they have the same shape. They're squares um, that are three-dimensional, also known as cubes. Um, they have the same shape. That means that the same amount of atoms would fit inside. But not all atoms are the same. Some atoms are more massive. That means that they have more neutrons and protons. And some atoms are less massive. That means they have less protons and neutrons. So let's say foam, a lot of the plastic that makes up the foam, has atoms that are not very massive. So when it comes to their mass, the whole cube is 3 grams. The wood cube has the same exact shape as the lead cube, but this has more uh, uh, of a mass of 7.7 .7 grams because the atoms are heavier, has more protons and neutrons. And the last one, the lead, obviously that is the one with the most mass because it has really heavy atoms. So mass uh, density has to do with the mass of an object relative to its volume. So let's practice solving some problems. What would the density of a cube with a mass of 90 grams and a volume of 9 centimeters cubed, what would the density be? So let's uh, highlight some keywords here. I see the word density. That means density equals mass divided by volume, which is down here. Uh, we know it's 90 grams and every, whenever it's the grams or kilograms those, that's the mass and the volume is 9 so that goes here so you set it up like this density is the same as 90 grams divided by 9 centimeters cubed and then you simple division 90 divided by 9 and remember you can pause this video if it's going too fast what did you get you should have got 10 grams centimeter cubed go ahead and put that answer into the blog as your first answer all required is you to follow the steps. Okay, that one I did for you pretty much. This one you're going to do a little bit more yourself, but I'll help you set it up. Example two. What will be the density of a cube with a mass of 60 grams and a volume of 5 millimeters cubed? The formula is there. Density equals mass divided by volume. We know that density is the same as 60 grams because that's the mass divided by 5. So what would the density be? Go ahead and pause this video and then solve it and then put your answer into the blog on the bottom. Example number three. What will be the density of a cube with a mass of 1,420 grams and a volume of 18 centimeters cubed? Go ahead and up, set it up with the formula. See if you remember what the formula is. Since I won't be able to give you the formula on the test, you have to remember it. And you won't be able to have the formula on the CST. See if you can figure it out, and then put in your answer in the blog below, in the blog uh, page here. Last problem. Remember, rewind it if it's going too fast. What would be the density of a cube with a mass of 890 uh, grams and a volume of 1,000 centimeters cubed? And for any of these problems, feel free to use a calculator. You can just open a new page and just type in uh, a calculator. Um, and then you will have a calculator pop up if you open up a Google and then type in calculator. You can have a digital calculator that you can use. All right. Once you solve this final problem, tell me what the density is. Answer the rest of the questions on this blog page. Have a great day.